and one more theorem dealing with proofs that quadrilaterals are parallelogram and it says if a quadrilateral has diagonals that bisect each other then it is a parallelogram. I'm not going to prove this right now but you should prove this as part of the exercises for this lesson starting with this fact that the quadrilateral has diagonals that bisect each other and starting only with that information show that it is a parallelogram and your diagram will look like this and I won't prove it right now but I will give you a hint. Um, ABCD is the quadrilateral and we're told that AC and BD bisect each other. So this point right here in the middle is the midpoint of side AC so this has to equal this and it's the midpoint of side DB so that has to equal that. And then you can also use vertical angles right at that center point and you can show that triangles in that diagram you can find congruent triangles you can show that certain pairs of triangles are congruent to each other and then based on that you can show that it's a parallelogram and there's more than one way to do this there's not one proof that is the correct answer there is more than one way to get to this conclusion based on what we know remember that you can show that it's a parallelogram if it fits the definition of a parallelogram that is if the opposite sides are parallel or if it matches any of the other theorems that we have proven so far that show that a quadrilateral must be a parallelogram. And in this case it's possible to show that it's a parallelogram by demonstrating that the opposite sides are parallel. That's one possible approach. It's also possible to show that opposite sides are equal. That's another possible approach. But whichever approach you take remember that it must depend on the ideas that we know are true and that is the ideas that are given here and the ideas that we have already proven to be correct.